TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. Three hours left to go in the trading day. We got quite a market to the downside. S&P is negative by 31 points, trading at 27.74. You get the Dow off 334 points, trading at 25,014. And the NASDAQ off 80 points, trading at 75.27. Gold up $4, trading at 12.8160. Notes and bonds, higher price and lower yield. 10-year up 10 ticks. 125.22, you got the 30 year up 27 ticks, 152.28 in the dollar index, back above 98, up 193 ticks, trending at 98.035. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So, right at 25,000 on the dot as we speak, we made it to a low within about the last hour and a half of 24,938. So, you're about 60 Dow points off that low currently. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar chart pattern. We make a low just prior to noon Eastern time of 71.83. The NASDAQ 100, 7,200. How about that? 25,000, 7,200. Round numbers, S&P, 27.72. We make a low of 27.66 just about an hour ago. Crude oil with some volatility today as well. Made it to a low of 56. 92 56 handle on the price of july crude trading that july contract now now as we speak though just in the last 10 minutes crude now back above 58 dollars with some volatility there gold contract trading at 1280.33 and the euro us dollar trading 111.29 in terms of what else you have happening out there it is still earnings season we talked about it on the show earlier this morning abercrombie and fitch quite a tank this morning down more than 20 percent we'll pull up their chart in a moment week same store sales closing three big flagship stores one of those being in soho new york city jumping over to their chart real quick um, before we jump away vix how about that 1904 as we get a little negative market action in that volatility index for a high today and uh abercrombie just accelerating now under 19 down 24.4 percent on the flip side of that though Dick Sporting Goods, we still in positive? Wow, look, look at that reversal. I saw the trend happening this morning. Dick's spiked to 38.52. How about a reversal? Down more than 5%, trading in 33.86. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Steve Rhodes with the Trader's Edge coming up right now. Tom O'Brien, live at 3. Have a great Wednesday.